I'm Tom Slavik. Welcome to TSPN's News for Today. Let's take a look at our stories. There are two meetings. The Amador County Planning Commission's regular meeting for Tuesday, December 11th, is scheduled at 7 p.m. in the County Administration Center at 810 Court Street in Jackson. First up on the agenda for discussion and possible action is Amador County Code 1932-10J for five wineries located in Latrobe, Willow Creek, Highway 124, and Dry Town areas, and a variance, a variance to exceed the 10 square foot maximum allowed. The proposal is for 10 by 20, that's 200 square feet, and 5 by 10, 50 square feet signs. The applicant, the West End Consortium, Susan Kretzler is the representative, and she's located in, or rather, this is, this is located in Supervisorial District 5. The location is on the north and south side of Highway 16, east of Carbondale Road and Del Martin Road in the Plymouth area. Note, the applicant's request, this item will be continued to the January 8th item. And uh, the Planning Commission meeting's next up item, number two, request for a use permit to allow an outdoor mobile recovery and recycling center on property zone C1, retail commercial and office district, and C2, heavy commercial district use on weekends only. The applicant is Capital City Recovery and Recycling. Josh Olmstead is the representative there. And this is located in Supervisorial District 4. The location is on the south side of Highway 88 between the Ridge Road and Irish Town Road intersections, being at 19660 Highway 88 in Pine Grove, and that's the former Ace Hardware store. Up next, item three, a request for a renewable use permit to allow the use of two recreational vehicle units for a watchman, caretaker's quarters, and a change room, lunch room, a restroom facility in support of a mining claim on BLM land for a period of two years. The applicant is Carl Schaefer and Dale Schaefer, located in Supervisorial District 3. The location is on BLM land located on the south side of Creekside Lane, about a half mile east of Pioneer Creek Road in the Pioneer area. And last up is item 4. And that's the continued environmental document determination and possible project decision for tentative parcel map number 2838, proposing the division of two, make that of a 12.6 acres into two parcels of approximately 608 and 5.89 acres in size, and a request for a variance, Damador County Code 1728-060, easements to follow lot lines, and the APN 0382600331. The applicant is Perdella Living Trust, located in Supervisorial District 4. The location is at the southeast corner of the intersection of Spagnoli Mine Road and Merkley Road. That's about one half mile east of Irish Town Road in the Pine Grove area. And Heidi Jacobs, the senior administrative assistant of the Amador County Planning Department reports that the December 10th, 2012 Technical Advisory Committee meeting has been canceled at the request of the applicant. It will be rescheduled for a future date. Let's take a quick look at our weather. Okay, it's a beautiful sunny day today with a high of 60, low of 40, winds out of the west at five miles an hour. And on Saturday, Patchy fog, high 58 with a low of 40, winds west 5 miles an hour. And on Sunday, sunny high of 60 with a low of 41. So it looks like we've got some nice weather for this weekend. Our ozone levels are good also today, Friday at 49, and good over the weekend at 49 as well. They are You can burn without a permit, but you need to call before you light your fire, 223-6246 to make sure it is a burn day. And uh, let me tell you of a few events that are going on before we, uh, we take our break. And by the way, my guest for today is going to be Lori Webb, Executive Director of the Amador Senior Center. And tomorrow, that's morning at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, Pet Photos with Santa, and that's going to be taking place at the Feed Barn. As always, Santa Paws is going to be at the Feed Barn. T.S. Pan will be out there as well. That's a, a $5 donation to APAL per holiday card, and they take a picture of your dog and put it in a holiday card. That's a really great event, and APAL could certainly use the money there. And uh, 
December 7th and 8th, that's uh, this evening, is Sutter Creek's Old Fashioned Christmas Open House. And that's going to start tonight at 5 p.m. Starts of festivities, holiday cheer. So, and also tomorrow. And on Saturday the 8th as well, at 3 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in Volcano, California, is the Mother Lode Scots at the Volcano Community Association, and that's the Scottish Candlelight Christmas Walk. And that's always a lot of fun, and T.S. Penn's cameras might be there as well. So if we see you, come on up and say hi. We're going to take our break, and then we're going to be back with Lori Webb right after this on T.S. Penn's News. You're watching Amador County's local television network, T.S.P.N.